tried to hang this sheet up and it like freaking didn't work. How's it going everybody? Benny Chris 12 here and today I have my cold steel boomerang again which I made a video about like a month or two ago. Now whenever I got this boomerang I said it's really large and it would be fun to take hunting places but the thing is is I would need like something to carry it in like I could throw it in a backpack maybe but what I really wanted to do was make a sheath for it. So that's what I went ahead and did. I made a really crappy prototype sheath just out of random blocks of wood in my backyard. Now I know it doesn't look like much, but it's actually like cut out, like it has grooves in there that this can slide into and it holds it really nicely and it stays in there. I don't think it could probably look, hey, it does stay in. Look at that. It stays in upside down and then you can like pull it out. The reason I'm making this video is because I want to quickly explain how I made this because it's super easy to make and all of you can make it at home just as easily and you can make it for not only like a boomerang or something but you can make it for any of your tools, sword, machete, knife, whatever you wanted to. So I'm going to be looking at these photos on my phone and you guys will be seeing them as I'm explaining them along the way. And the reason I did this like I said is because this was my first time making one of these. I wasn't sure exactly if it was going to work out. so. I figured just take pictures to be safe and then I could explain it and that would be a lot easier than trying to record something that maybe wouldn't work out. So this first photo you see, I just have the two scales side by side and you can tell it's a really old wood. This used to be part of my fence, there's even green moss growing on it. So all I did was lay the boomerang down and then I mirrored it on the other one and just traced an outline of the boomerang. That way I could have sort of a template of what I was going to be cutting out. That way the boomerang would fit in there really nice and tightly. And then like I said, I took the angle grinder, I just kind of stuck it in a table vise and began cutting away. And after I cut it completely out, you can see I have those nice grooves in there. And those maybe went halfway through the board, so I didn't come close to cutting through to the other side, but they were still pretty deep. And after messing with it for a while and trying to figure out how I could get the boomerang to fit in there, I realized that there was no way unless I used spacers. And rather than just cutting around the entire shape of the boomerang and making a really nice tight fitting sheath like I could have done, I just used three spacers and that made it a lot simpler. But if you wanted to make a tighter fitting sheath, um, you could just fill in all those spaces in between the boomerang outline. Well, I decided not to use nails just for fear of the wood splitting. So I just used Gorilla Glue and then clamped it in a table vise and used a vise on top. And that secured the three spacers. And then one thing that I didn't take a picture of, but I added this here at the bottom. And this was to keep the boomerang from dropping through and also so I could wrap paracord around it for belt loops, which is the main purpose of the paracord is just for belt loops. And now I'm gonna hook my belt to it and I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know. I have to stand up a little. So literally, just like slides right in there. Bam. And then you're done. Can you guys even see that? I can't tell. I'm just gonna walk and then you can just easily pull it out and you're ready to go. This boomerang is super fun, like I said before. So if you haven't seen the video where I tested it, check the link down in the description because it's definitely something worth checking out. I think it cost me like 30 bucks. So it's kind of like mid-range, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on the person what your budget is. Let me know what you guys think of this sheath design down in the comments. I plan to make a few more of these for like different tools and I plan to make them a lot nicer out of like different wood. The main reason that this one's just really blocky is I didn't want to put too much time into something that I wasn't sure if it was going to work. But now that I know it works, I can put a lot of time into these and make them look really nice. If you want a more full tutorial on how to make these for maybe a knife or something, just comment down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Neat. Uh, yeah.